the year is 1894. The place is North Richmond Street in Ireland's largest city city. The street dead ends at an empty house of two stones. The unnamed boy who leaves the street with his uncle and aunt and a priest who was once a tenant in the house they occupied. After he died, the narrator explored his quarters and he saw useless papers and among these he found a few paper covered books, the pages of which were curled and stamped. The Abbot by Walter Scott, the Default Dominican and the Memoirs of the Dog. He liked the last book he read because the leaves were yellow. In winter, the narrator and his friends play in the street along and behind the houses. If Mangan's sister comes out and calls her public tea, everyone keeps in the shadows. On school mornings, he waits for her to come out, then crowds his two books and follow her until the path diverge. She is constantly in his thoughts even though they had never had a conversation. Finally, a day comes when she speaks to him. Um, do you want to go to bazaar? If I go, I buy you something. During the next several days, having received permission from his aunt to attend the event, all he can think about is the bazaar and man and sister. On Saturday morning, he reminds his uncle that he will be attending the bazaar that evening. The narrator wants to go to the bazaar so badly because for he is strongly attracted to her even though he hardly knows her. Mrs. Mercer gossips with the narrator's aunt over tea. Just after 8 o'clock, Mrs. Mercer says she can wait no longer and leaves. When he sets out at last and finally arrives there, only to find out that the bazaar is just about to close and the day's stake is being counted. He suddenly he approaches one of the few stalls still open. The young lady in charge of this stall pauses momentarily in her flirtatious banter with two young men to attend the two boys' defendant and dressed in her wear. He is so put up by all his disappointments and her tone of voice, however, that he at once decides not to buy anything. Instead, he simply stands there in the middle of the darkening bazaar and says that the betrayal of his hopes and the shattering of his illusions. 